Sometimes it's really nice when your computer applications can talk to each other. In this case, I'm talking about Outlook, both email and calendar, and a OneNote. So stick with me if you'd like to see how that works out. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the ways that I use Outlook for both calendar and email uh, to integrate with my uh, OneNote notebook. And it really makes storing information and finding information a lot easier. So let's jump into the computer and I will give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see on my screen here, I have split my screen and I have um, Outlook open over here on the left hand side and I have OneNote open here on the right hand side to a completely blank new page. Okay, now the first thing that I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you uh, how I kind of use Outlook uh, for my emails and flag the important emails when they come in. Um, meaning that there is something that I need to do or there's information that I want to keep. Okay. So you see here, I have a whole list of, you know, different flagged emails from various things, but the one that I wanted to talk to you about today is the one up here at the top. It is, uh, an email notifying me that a package has been shipped. Now, you know, because I follow the GTD method, I keep a waiting on list and anytime I order something uh, that goes on my waiting on list in addition to when I ask other people to do things for me or something like that. So this was one of the things that I was checking on uh, as I was reviewing my projects in my weekly review and I saw this email had been flagged and I thought, oh, okay, I want to record that information so that I have it. Uh, in, you know, so I can check it off when it comes in. Okay. So that may have been a little confusing. Let me just show you rather than tell you what I'm doing. So I have this email here, um, from UPS and it is telling me that there is a shipping update on something that I ordered. Okay. So what I'm going to do is simply right click to that and go down here where it says send to OneNote. I'm going to click send to OneNote and it's going to come up and ask me where do I want to uh, put this particular item. Okay. Well, I know that this is for a project that I am working on this year. So if I go to my 2023 planner and I go down to my project section, I have a secretary desk that I am working on. And if I click that page for that particular project and say, okay, it's going to print the contents of this email into this page where I have my secretary, um, desk that I want to get painted. Okay. So I have a screenshot here of when I ordered the paint and now I have this shipping update as to when the order should be delivered. Okay. So I know now that it's coming on Monday the 10th. All right. So I can add that to my calendar and I have that information with the tracking and all of that kind of stuff right there in case I need it. Okay. Then when I go back and I set up my weekly stuff and I have my waiting on uh, list, I can put a date next to waiting on paint. I can put in parentheses that it's supposed to come on the 10th. Okay. And that will help me remember when that is supposed to be there. All right. So it's great. You can take uh, all kinds of things and add them to your planner. Back here in April, uh, let's say there's another example down here that I wanted to show you. Uh, when I had my little kitten neutered, he got some information from the vet regarding, you know, prep for the uh, surgery and that kind of thing. I was able to go in here, right click, send to OneNote. The information came right into my OneNote. And then I knew when it was time for his appointment, uh, which was last month. Let me jump back and show you how I did that. So in March on my March dashboard, 
I created a little reminder for myself about little man's appointment. Okay. And I also put a link here to that page. And this is the email that came the surgical appointment reminder. So it came directly into OneNote, and then I had all of the information that I needed for his appointment. Okay. So that just is really helpful to be able to keep track of all of those things in a really quick and easy way. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to tell you about Outlook is you can send emails directly into OneNote. And I think that is fabulous. It really uh, helps me. I don't have to keep going back and searching through all of my emails to find the particular thing that I was looking for. Okay, now let's jump over to calendar. And I set up an example here because I wanted to show you something uh, that I think is really cool for the calendar. All right. Now, if you have an appointment in your Outlook calendar, let's say I created a fake meeting for this demonstration purpose. And what I did is I set a meeting for uh, tonight and I, it's a church meeting and I have an agenda for that meeting and I have uh, people that I've invited to come to that meeting. If I click on that here in Outlook, you can see that it will bring up the council meeting and the people that I've invited and it will show you the um, agenda and all of that stuff that I have put in the email that I would send out to people. Okay. All right. So if I'm in OneNote and now I'm getting ready to attend that meeting, uh, I can go down here, create a new page for myself and I can go up here on the home menu all the way over, there is a section that says meetings. Okay. Under meeting details, it will show me the appointments that I have listed for today. Okay. If I choose down at the bottom to look for meetings on another day, I can do that as well. But for today's purposes and the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you this one meeting and I'm going to click on that. And you see that it added to this blank page that I had. It now has the meeting date and time, the location um, of where we are going to meet, and then also the invitation message. Now, the invitation message is nice for me to have because it is the agenda for that meeting, okay? So I have all of the information there that is going to be discussed at this meeting. And what I need to do then is just go in here and take notes. So for example, one of the first things that we do at our church meetings is we list any joys and concerns uh, that people might have uh, and we pray for them. So what I would do is I would go up here to my text color and I would pick a different color and I would use that to take my notes. So let's just say that uh, someone would like to pray for the uh, tornado victims. Okay, so I can add that in blue. And then when I take my notes on the other things that we have listed here, if I use that blue color, uh, then that will stand out to me, okay? Uh, I can also work in here any of the tags that I have. If it's something that I personally need to do, I can go ahead and put a tag on that. Uh, let me just add an example here right next to uh, 2023 budget. I could, again, say... Um, make sure my text is blue and I have to submit, uh, cost for communications to Becky. Okay. And that's an item that I have to do an action item for me. So I can go up here now to my tags. And I can say that this is a church item like that. And that will put this little box here that tells me this is a church item. And I will know exactly what I have to do for that particular item. So I'm adding my own action items in as I'm note taking during the meeting. Okay. I think that is incredibly helpful. Then at uh, the end of the meeting, I have a section down here where I can see all of the partic participants who were uh, scheduled to attend to the meeting. And there's a little checkbox here that I can check off whether those people actually attended the meeting or not. All right. So again, very helpful.
Then there's another section down here for notes. If I need to add any additional notes, I can do that down here at the bottom. Okay. All right. So I just think this is really, 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 really helpful. Uh, if you have meetings that you are scheduled for in, uh, Outlook and you want to take notes of them in OneNote, it's really, really handy just to have that, um, note taking feature available. Well, there you have it. I just think that the integration between all of these different apps is really wonderful. There are other ways that they can be integrated, but today I just wanted to show you the two that I use the most often, and that is copying important emails from Outlook into my OneNote so that I have that information for, you know, appointments or deadlines or when things are being shipped or meetings, that kind of thing. Uh, and also the meeting notes and being able to have that entire agenda there. And, you know, it's all set up for me. And then I can just either leave it in the month where the meeting occurred, or I can copy it to a different section. If I have a specific section for that project or that event, it just really, really is helpful. Anyway, uh, I think that integration is fantastic and I look forward to more integration and more advancements as OneNote continues to grow, I think there's been a resurgence of people using OneNote. And as many of you know, I have used it since 2014 or 2012 or 2010 or sometime a long, long time ago, I started using OneNote and every, every month it just seems to get better and better. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. And we look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, here's hoping that you can live a more organized and simplified life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay, bye.